Ready. All right, here with Kelly Tan and Matilda Castro and Team Phanasia back in the press box today. Another pretty solid round, but I didn't get off to probably the start you guys wanted. Um, How did you sort of turn it around after that, Kelly? Um, I think we just kind of keep playing our game and just keep giving you know my partner a chance, and I'm sure she was doing the same for me. And eventually we make one and just kind of got our momentum going, and especially the back nine, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the putts were really like burning the edges and uh, we knew that eventually they'd drop and uh, they did and then we kind of got off uh, on a better streak. So mm -hmm. Still in a really good position for tomorrow, um, second place. How happy were you with your first two rounds to just maybe help even things out um, today? Either. Yeah, I, again, I think we're in a good spot and I felt like we've played really great the last three days mm -hmm. um that's why we're where we are today and we're just gonna really try and go out and have fun tomorrow um it's best ball so um we're gonna you know make birdies and hopefully we'll we'll see where it puts us at, at the end of the round how are you gonna make birdies tomorrow matilda what's the strategy there hit the fairway then hit the green and then make the putt <laughs> <laughs> no just uh stick to, <laughs> stick to our game plan and uh uh just try not to like put too much pressure on ourselves and mm -hmm. uh, hit some, you know, good shots. Like try to stay in the present and, mm -hmm. uh, and just kind of let it good, let, let it have like a good flow. Mm -hmm. um, last question for me before I move over. You guys enjoy this event a lot. I can see, um, and you guys play so well here. So it has to be meaningful just to see your name up at the top um, again for another year in a row. Can you tell me about that? Yeah, um, like I say, I think this is one event on the calendar year that I look forward to, and I think we both look forward to it together. And it also, it's just such a fun atmosphere, I feel like, compared to a normal event. Um, you, know, we, you know, the week before we flew here, we call each other and, you know, figure out outfits, and then we start from there, and then we get here, and then, you know, we have Monday through Saturday um, outfit picked out. So it's just so different than a normal event, because I would never call her and ask her what she's wearing and yeah I think we look good out there and we have a lot of fun together on the course and yeah just love coming back here whose outfit choice was this today who contributed to this one it's great and we love it we can see you from everywhere on the course it's fabulous we kind of just uh picked which which ones of the same outfits we have at home and uh, we chose six of them and I think I chose to wear this one today and leave another color for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, we have a lot of the same stuff, so it was quite easy to come up with the outfits. I wanted to say though, I usually wear this top with orange. Oh. And when she texted, she's like yellow. I was like, you know, that's different. I'm gonna go for that. So. I always wear it with yellow because it has like a little bit of yellow. I love it, it looks great. Um, go ahead. Uh, you were talking about the event, how it's a unique event that you look forward to. One of the unique things about it is the walk-up music uh, to 18. You guys picked a very popular song, uh, Party in the USA. Whose decision was that? Why'd you go with that song? I think it was both ours. We were just looking through our um, playlist and we wanted some upbeat music that, you know, the crowd knows. Because in the past years, we've chose some music that we like, but it was just kind of calm and the crowd just wasn't really partying with us. So um, I think that's why we chose this song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't any like specific, specific reason for that song. We just wanted to uh, get the people going and everybody knows the song. So I hope they got some dance moves going on. <laughs> and how does the walk up music, would you say, add to the atmosphere of this event, you know, creating kind of that fun environment? Um, that you guys were describing. How do you think that that little, uh, that little like niche type thing, how do you think it adds to the atmosphere of the whole event? I think it totally does. Like we say, like, you know, picking the right songs that the crowd knows definitely help because, you know, there are songs that we like. We've, we've listened to it and we're just like, we really like it, but we just don't think it will get the crowd going. So I think we chose a good song. Yeah, it just makes it a lot more fun. I mean, we hear it from the other holes too, and we're like, oh, I wonder what this team is gonna pick and uh, just kind of get like in a good groove when we hear a song that we like. So uh, it just makes it a lot more fun and uh, kind of like easygoing. Awesome, thank you so much, ladies. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. 